Hold on, scumbags! I'm talking to you! What did we do to deserve that kind of treatment from the authorities? Authorities? What authority? He's just the corrupt copper. You must have a death wish, you lice-ridden mongrel! Lovely. Another one to be made into mincemeat. Let's go, Victor. Although, upon careful consideration, the process won't help much in this case. Oi! Let me just... Get out of here, bastards! Abaritsu, do you remember how we used to make fun of the constables to make them chase us? I sure do. Hey, ugly. It's in your pocket and it's gonna muck it. What? Shit's a lot. I'm gonna tear you apart. This one lacks a sense of humor. Chapter 2, The Pilgrim and the Poet, Saw.
Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. There's something odd nearby. Joshing for? Nijits, this ain't your turf. Why the hell did you come here raising a stink? Get out of our way, Plebeian. Wait, about it. Take a look at him. Doesn't he look like. Samson the Thug! The same beady eyes are straying in search of reason. What did you say? You look like a hothead from way back who stood in our way. Shall we do the same as we did with the other one? We're from the Franciscan Sisters to see the Honorable Mr. Kafar, whose generosity is widely known on both sides of the Vistula. We're collecting money for a wooden figure of Christ by the puppet maker Geppetto. We're going to raise money together once his oak limbs come to life. What? Is there such a puppet maker? Fuck, I can't keep my countenance like I used to. You can't talk to this idiot. I'll get you for this.
Cough out of you, fucker. Midgets, you snitch. You always drop in unannounced. Did you hear that? A lone shark calls me a snitch? The scumbag. Next time, I'll send you a note. I want you to stay the fuck away from my people, especially Max. And what are you going to do? I've got a reputation here. You'd best shut your trap and bark up a different tree. He's going to get his trap smacked. Let's get him. Listen, maybe this time we can use our heads. As it happens, Kafar has a small intoxicating secret. What do you mean? We're not going to shoot the scumbag. Then our sentimental journey won't be complete, and I will have to rewrite the final chapter. Kafar is afraid that his sugar smuggling will be exposed. He does it behind the manager's back. You've really impressed me now, Victor. Well, magic bitch. You're not so tough now, are you? And who's going to believe you, fancy boy? Get out of here. So how about we fuck him up? So what's your version of the story? Who cares? I didn't take you to have a conversation with him. The darkest place is under the candle. Your Max nicked something important from me to sell it himself. Sugar? How? Never mind. Yeah. Max wanted to sell right under Nejit's nose. By getting square with him, I'm doing you a favor. Shut your trap! Victor, I'm getting impatient. Let me show you one more trick. Chapter 3. You can see yourself in an expensive frock coat, surrounded by stallkeepers who show you favor and respect. They stare at you like dogs. How delusive it is. One word about your sugar, and it all bursts like a bubble. You've got nothing. Humiliated, defeated, you rot in the oblivion. It's all lost. No! So many years of effort, kissing the manager's ass, squabbling with those bastards from Rojitz. I can't make it in jail. Unless? All right, all right, Mr. Nejitz. Whatever you want. I've already forgotten about Max. All squared up? I think we can work it out. Well, this is what I call a happy ending. We beat up a few thugs, and we taught them a lesson. Well, if that was an evil deed, then the Tsarist government would have arranged war so differently. The Lone Shark is defeated, and justice prevails eventually. Although I hope we would shoot him. But the magic tricks are fine, too. I wish I had been able to do all that magic stuff 15 years ago. Do you think that if you had charmed Tsetsemin back then, Satanisov wouldn't have sent you away? If the loan shark hadn't died, you wouldn't have ended up in the street and your father in jail. But if you hadn't gone, you wouldn't be the thaumaturg you are now. Damn it, Victor, I wouldn't be myself either. Y you better tell me why it was my dad who swung for it, not us. Honestly. W we came back, Satanyuswav took you into his office for questioning, and then what? Father never raised his voice. 
I wished he had screamed and been mad at the time, but all he did was talk. From time to time, Balberit would show up and look at me. I thought I would die that day. Then I heard your father would answer for the lone shark's death, and you and I would get away with it. Stanislav told me to pack and take this gun with me, to remind me that it wasn't just the lone shark who lost his life that day. Right. My dad would rot in jail, and yours had to sell antiques. You don't know everything. My father was forced to let one rat inside his home. Ivan Konechkin. No shit! Satanisov snitched to the Ochrana? That's tough. Do you think your old man was right to expel you? I don't know. It was a long time ago. In another life. Right. And now that Satanisov is pushing up daisies, it doesn't matter anymore. Never mind. Each of us had his share of suffering. And now, we're here drinking vodka as winners. Kings of life, lords of death. I think it's time to finish this chapter. Yes, but surely this isn't our final chapter. But enough talking for now. Let's drink. To friendship, Victor. To being squared up. Got a permit? What permit? The river belongs to everyone, doesn't it? And who do you think stocks it, huh? You think five kilograms of bream just fell into the river? Pay the five ruble fine while I'm still in a good mood. Since you stock and care for the river, you deserve it. Here, five rubles. Thank you. Go ahead then. And remember, you gotta hook a fish to cook a fish. See ya.
Place yourself in my hands. Let's do it. Soon defensive. Stay still once I start. I see. We don't want. The way I see it. It does look swell. So, the... That wasn't too hard. Hey, you! Are you stealing our girls? It's more like I'm saving them from the torture of your company. See how eloquent he is? And brave. Not bad. We'll turn your face around, fancy boy. You won't be such a smooth talker then. If you insist. A fight? How exciting! <laughs> 